Hello friends, once again I am Shipra Shavasto is here with you all. In the previous session we have studied about teacher centered approach and subject centered approach. Now in today's class we will discuss about learner centered approach. There is a saying in Latin that teacher teaches John Latin. If we consider this line from the prospect of teacher centered approach, the teacher is important. From the subject centered approach point of view, Latin is important. But if we consider this line from the point of view of learner centered technique, then here neither teacher nor Latin is important, rather John is important here, who is the learner, who is the student. He is at the center of the teaching learning activities. The approach which is directed towards the learner often known as learner centered approach. And in learner centered approach nowadays activity based learning forms an essential aspect of it. A learning activity in which the learner willingly and spontaneously participates with delight and acquires the desired learning outcomes. The process of learning and learning outcomes are taken care of in this approach. So this the learner centered approach is an approach which altogether moves around the learner. It only the center point or the focus point of the learning activities is the learner. Everything all the activities is revolving around the learner. So let us go through some pictures. See in this picture a teacher is teaching through storytelling and role playing method. She is having a card, play card in, in her hand and all the students are listening to the whatever the teacher is telling. Now this type of teaching creates interest in the students. Now here you can see all the students are actively participating in teaching learning process. See you can see all the students have raised their hands, everyone is uh, participating in the process, everyone is ready to give answer to the question whatever teacher is asking. Now in this picture, students are learning from interaction with peers. Here the students are being divided in a peer group, two students together, they are interacting with each other, forming pictures and learning. In this picture, you can see students are joyfully learning in group and performing activity. Now there are six, seven students who are performing the Archimedes principle practical and you can see the smiles on their faces. Here a teacher is acting as a facilitator and a guide in the teaching learning process. He is not an instructor here. And you can also see the sitting arrangement of the students. They are sitting in groups as per their work, whatever the allotted work is there, they are sitting in the groups. So from all these pictures, if you have noticed, there is one thing common that is the delighted cheerful faces of learner who are not only actively participating in teaching learning process but also enjoying the process of learning. Learning becomes fun when any activity is involved with it. From these pictures, we may enlist some of the characteristic features of learner centered teaching learning process. The main characteristic features of learner centered approach are here the needs of individual students form the basis of all learning methods and strategies. Whatever the uh, uh, strategies teacher is using in this approach, it is on the basis of needs of individual interest, their learner, their uh, learning abilities, their entry behavior, all these combinedly facilitate what learning strategy or what learning method needs to be used in this process. And moreover, the teacher tries to motivate the learner before starting the teaching learning process. There is a saying that you can bring a horse to water but cannot make it drink. Now same thing applies in the teaching learning process. You can bring the students to the class but until and unless the learners are not motivated, you can't make them learn. So before starting the teaching or before starting the uh, teaching learning process, it is important for a teacher to motivate the learner for learning. And most importantly, in this process, teacher acts as a facilitator, not an instructor. Teacher acts as a friend, a guide who is not dictating the students, who is participating with the students in the activities 
channelizing their energy in a proper way guiding them how to do and what to do but let them do situation is created here for facilitating learning process so teacher has to do a bit of effort she has to create a situation so that learning process can be facilitated now in this approach students learn from interaction with their peers so as i told you earlier this approach enhances the interaction capacity of the students and that interaction or communication with others also enable them to learn or acquire the new concepts now here opportunities are provided to the students for questioning exploration and experimentation now again it is totally opposite to the uh, subject centered approach or the teacher centered approach where there was no opportunities for any type of questioning any type of exploration here learners have all the approaches whatever uh, they want to ask the co uh, ask questions for to clear their concepts whatever experiments they want to do they can do whatever explorations they need for the learning activities they can do each and everything every opportunities are provided to the learner now sitting arrangement is guided accordingly to the activities of the students in the classroom and as you have seen in all those pictures the sitting arrangement was according to the activity so in the previous picture when teacher was using the storytelling or the uh, role playing uh, method all the learners were sitting outside and the teaching learning activity was taking place or in the last when, where the teacher was acting as a facilitator they are students are sitting in the groups or in one which was there was peer interaction was there so two students together their sitting arrangement was like that so whatever the activity uh, re uh, requirement of the activity is a sitting arrangement is according to that activity now assessment is a part of teaching learning process in learner centered approach now if you again see in teacher centered process only the summative assessment was there assessment was taking place at the end of the lecture or at, a, at the end of the completion of course now here the assessment constitutes a part of teaching learning process throughout the process assessment was there and children are assessed in course of doing the activities not only after completion of activities while doing the activities they are being assessed so here both the formative and summative assessment both the kind of assessments takes place so a continuous and comprehensive evaluation constitutes an important part of learner centered approach once again here the learning climate is democratic not autocratic one as we have seen in the teacher centered approach where the teacher is the dictator the controller of the class here the learning climate is democratic the students are also say whatever they want to say whenever they want to say they can ask the questions of the teachers they can interact with the uh, students their peers so the learning climate is democratic so students often ask questions to the teachers for clarity of the concepts now from all these points you must have understood that this approach has lot of utilities in nowadays now learning is quite meaningful here whatever learning is there that is meaningful because students are learning from doing learning from doing is an excellent example of this approach now teacher plan and transaction the content very systematically and organize the planning and transaction to give the meaningful learning to the learners here the student performance is given due recognition the whatever performance is being done by the student good bad whatever is there it is given due recognition it's a group activity if a student is performing something a proper informative feedback is provided what you have done good if you have not done so good what was your drawbacks then it nurtures the creativity of students because it provides opportunity for thinking and doing so it nurtures the creativity of students again when students are performing in team work it provides them a climate for competition and this climate for competition 
again provide them a scope for enhancing their level of achievement. When there is a healthy competition in between the students, they can enhance their level of achievement. Now, the most important part of this approach is that students are the center of teaching learning process. Whatever they are doing, whatever activities are being performed, whatever teacher is doing, whatever learner is doing, everything is for the student, about the student and doing by the student. So, all the activities are being performed by the students and the whole teaching learning process revolves around the student. Now, although it has a number of utilities, it has some limitations also. Now, it is difficult to increase the achievement level of all the students on average within a limited period of time. Now, you see that this approach is very good for learning, but it is not possible to teach all the subjects, to teach all the topics of any subject through this method. Then, without competent and committed teachers, the approach will not work. This is very important. A teacher need to be not only to be competent but also committed for the teaching learning process. Then only this approach will give good result. It requires teacher who are very sensitive to the needs of students. This is again a very important point. The sensitivity in teachers is a very important because if the teacher will be sensitive for the needs of students, then only he can think at the level of a student and can organize the learning activities for the students. Unless proper learning climate is created in the schools, use of learner-centered approach is not possible. So, teacher is ready, subject is ready, learner is ready. But if the school does not have proper learning climate, this approach could not be used. So, here the role of management or the school is also important. What kind of climate is there in the environment, uh, in the school? What learning resources are there? What learning resources could be arranged? How they can be adapted according to the need of the students? All these things, if possible, then only this approach could be used. So, friends, today we have studied about the learner centered approach. This approach you uh, till now you must have been clear that it's quite dissimilar from the teacher centered approach and the subject centered approach here the most important part of the teaching learning process is learner for which everything is planned according to the requirement according to his need according to his interest according to his aptitude according to his attitude according to the his uh, uh, knowledge whatever skills he has and whatever he wants to. Everything, whatever is being planned is according to the students for the students. They themselves construct their knowledge. This approach makes teacher a facilitator, a guide, not a dictator. In this approach, students always enjoy the process of learning. So friends, that's all for the today session. Have a nice day. Thank you.